Happy Thursday, Mana Gatherers. It is a happy, happy Thursday. I hope you're choosing to make it happy today. Um, this has been a very good week. Uh, we are still with Psalm 85, verse 8. Let me hear what God the Lord will speak. For God will speak peace to all God's people, to God's faithful, to those who turn God to God in their hearts. Hear me, God! Have you ever said that? Listen to me now, God. Have you ever cried out to God in such a way? I often have similar conversations with my very own kids. Mommy, listen to me. No, sir, you listen to me. I think that is how God is when we cry out to God without giving God the chance to respond. God is saying, my child, stop talking and listen to me. You're adding to your own troubles and sorrows I want to offer you peace, so stop talking and listen. This thought actually came to me on Sunday morning as I was listening to the nine o'clock choir sing their very, very beautiful anthem. And it was a very beautiful anthem called Hear My Words. And while it was very beautiful, the thought came to me, we throw a lot of words out at, at God not to God, having a conversation with God, expecting God to respond, but at God, we throw a lot of words at God without ever giving God a chance to respond, to speak. This also, as I've said, happens in my home. My oldest, Hiram Clyde, one day he's going to watch this and be so embarrassed, but you know, that's what moms are supposed to do, right? My oldest, Hiram Clyde, he literally came out of the womb babbling and talking. Seriously. He talks even when no one else is in the room to listen to him talk. Hardly anyone in our home can ever get a word in while Hiram Clyde is around because he talks and talks and talks. Poor second brother, that middle child, Grady, has started to raise his hand when Hiram Clyde is around and ask, is it my turn? Is it my turn to talk now? I have something to say. I have something to say too, mommy. And occasionally he gets very aggravated and stamps his foot because he has something to say too. Maybe God is a bit like that as we talk and we talk and we talk and we throw words at God without ever giving God a chance to respond. But there is God. Here is how I see God in my mind. Ever so patient and ever so faithful asking, may, may I get a word in please? May I talk now? I have something to say. Or perhaps it is in our throwing out words that maybe all of our talking comes from a place of not really wanting to hear what God has to say. I thought about this too at nine o'clock on Sunday morning during worship when Stephen was reading from Amos 7. God's people wanted to shut Amos up because they didn't want to hear what God's messenger, God's speaker had to say because they did not want to hear that ultimately God was calling them to change their ways, to return to the Lord, to give up the habits that had become just so second nature to them that it was leading them away from God. Well, these people that Amos was speaking to did not want to change. They did not want to return to the Lord if it meant giving up, doing whatever they wanted to do. God has a lot to say if we would just give God the chance. And even if God's words are convicting and challenging, as we heard in Amos 7 this past Sunday, they are words that will lead us ultimately to greater peace and greater joy. I know it is cliche to say, but it is true nevertheless. God gave us one mouth and two ears. That is often said in my home. Two ears and one mouth. Ah, a sign that we see every single day in our very physical bodies. Less talking, more listening. Listening for and to God, but also perhaps in practicing listening to God, maybe we will get all a little better at listening to one another. 
not putting um, so much higher stock or value in our own words and what we have to say above and beyond another person's words and what they have to say, but truly listening to appreciate and respect and value the words of others in the very same way we listen for God's words, which we love and appreciate and respect even if they are convicting and challenging and not always the words of comfort that we desire. All right, I can go on and on with this, but I will say for now, see you tomorrow. And I will see you tomorrow. It is a Friday. And I will, we will be two more days with Psalm 85.8. Until then, have a good one.